I'm tired. It's 9.15 p.m. This is primer. I got the stain one. I didn't know what else to get. I think it's the big projects in this house. <laughs> what is it? I also sanded the dishwasher a little bit. Not bad. Do you have a brush that I can paint around the sink with? And also, what do I do with the brush while I'm not like actively doing it? Do I put it in water? Uh, then you won't be able to use it for tomorrow. What? So just keep wetting it. Aren't you doing it on the edge? Yes. Cleaning ahead. Well, it says I don't have to sand, so should I sand the other one? I mean, I'm looking for a note. It won't be as noticeable. The island has got all kinds of bright lights on it, and we try to keep it clear sometimes. <laughs> I try to pretend like I'm going. Ugh. Debatable. Okay, so I am two coats of primer in after sanding. I'm already really excited. It's gonna look so good. And I'm gonna do two coats of white paint, but I think I'm gonna do it in the morning because it's late now, it's 10.45 and I have to go home to the kids. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I need to head over to the house and continue. I primed the kitchen counter last night and I'm so excited. I had to paint the gray on today, like the feathers, um, like the line, the grain onto it. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do the epoxy today because well, it takes three days to dry, but we're moving the big stuff tomorrow and there's gonna be a lot of people in there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanted it done before like we lived in there, but. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that probably in this video. Um, I don't know, I still have to edit yesterday's video. <laughs> I am so busy and I have to work today. So yeah, so much stuff on the agenda today. And I really want to go to Lululemon, but I just don't know where I would find the time to do that. 
But I do want to go to the Lululemon outlet. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I've had a day already and it's late, but um, now I'm hurrying up to put the first coat of white paint on the island so that it will dry and I can get the second paint put on or the second coat put on. And then after that, we're going to start painting the countertop like Marvel. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I thought I would take this time to talk about the paint that I used. Um, I just finished the first coat of the white. So there's two coats of primer on here. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, two coats of white, or two coats of primer, and then one coat of white so far. And I'm just waiting for the first coat of white to dry. And then I'm gonna do the second coat. We have to keep everything up here because Brayden takes everything. Um, the paint that I'm using is this. Valspar Ultra Interior Paint Plus Primer and Ultra White. Did I get that on my face? And I picked this because um, whenever I went and bought our wall paint at Sherman Williams, I didn't get baseboard paint. So I figured whatever else, like what's ever left, um, I can use on the baseboards. And obviously I'll have to buy more for the rest of the baseboards, but normally we use Sherwin-Williams paint products, but I was just at Lowe's. It's near my house. So that's what I went with. And I got all the stuff there yesterday and that includes paint and the primer. And yeah, there's different tiers, but I think I think, I mean, I don't know anything really about paint. Um, I'm not like a contractor or anything. So I just asked like, what's a mid-tier paint? And that's what the girl told me. So that's what I bought and I'm gonna go do a different project maybe while I wait. Cause I have like 10. Okay, I wanted to take a quick moment and show you guys what three coats of white paint looks like on the island. It is drying. So I didn't really like the two coats. I don't know, it just looked a little splotchy still. And I'm still not sure. I mean, I think I'm just being picky, but I gotta get going soon. And I really wanted to get that epoxy on and I didn't even <laughs> get the gray veining on yet. So it's definitely a big project, which I knew and I don't like, we're not moved in yet. So that's fine. Okay, I forgot to film this, but I put gray, black, white, and I have some silver paint. It's all just acrylic paint, aside from the white is the wall paint. And yeah, I mean, I watched a few YouTube videos that say just to basically take your brush and like lightly hold it and roll it. I wish I could do it so you guys could see it. Oh, maybe, nope. Let's try again. Well, you can see it out here, but hold on. So like, you just take it and like, roll it. This is the silver, so I'm just gonna put in some accent brush. I was using a sponge, but I didn't, I wasn't using a sponge, but I didn't really like, it was like too smudgy. So, use this brush, I got my kit. And I'm just kind of like taking the grays and the blacks and like mixing them. This is nerve wracking. Oh, that one's dark. That's too dark. I don't like it. 
open it some light. And we will see. These are the countertops before we're epoxying them. And I put glitter on them. I just dabbed some white paint and then sprinkled the glitter on to the wet areas. I put A in here and I'm pouring B in the day. Oh! I'm nervous. My belly hurts. Are you ready? All right, what's, what's the, what time is it? 9.04, okay. How long do you do it? Six minutes, and then pour it, and then do it for six more minutes. Why do you have to transfer it? It, it says it's six. important to do it. It's what it says. So you stir it in here for six minutes, and then pour it in another See container. why uh, you shouldn't sleep in the house with this shit. Why? Wow. It's strong. Well, oh. That wasn't even a minute, my arm's tired. Walmart gloves. Let's go. Because you're going to be pouring and everything else. There's bubbles in it. Oh, I'm nervous. My ears are cheating. Oh, no, it says second step. Now pour the resin and hardener mix into a clean mixture. Probably like to get all the stuff off the sides, maybe. There's a bubble floating. There's bubbles floating out of this. It's been two minutes and there's bubbles floating. So we stir for six minutes. I stir for six, here's a bubble. I stir for six minutes and then I put it in another bin and then stir it for another six minutes. There's bubbles coming out of here. I didn't see that in any of the videos that I watched. So the chemicals supposedly, when you mix them together, they heat up. They apparently make bubbles. You're only supposed to mix up to a quart at once, so like one whole box. I think that the glitter is gonna get in the resin because it's like dust essentially and like be on the top too and like in it, which. Yeah. You did do the towel by yourself. What do you mean? Is that you saying that yes, I did this by myself? I hope you with the towel bits and pieces. Here, you want to throw this out? This is another six minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, my arm's tired. Are you apply it? I feel like I'm making mashed potatoes by hand. And someone's pushing me and not letting me use the electric mixer. But you can't use an electric mixer because it says it makes more bubbles. <laughs> what? You read that? Yes. <laughs> of course we did. I read the whole instruction manual. Look, a bubble. You keep saying that you smell it and like I smell it but I don't think it's that strong but I could just be because I'm like I think that's why you're seeing bubbles. What? Wallpaper, right? wallpaper is really trendy this year. It is. This one thing I'm trying to I look like dress. I would say I need a shower but I don't need a shower this morning. I'll shower again tonight. Oh, it's getting thick. It's getting like thick. Like a thick soup. Oh, I got a big whisk. 
<laughs> it says immediately pour to the center to be covered. And you have 10 to 15 minutes working time after the glaze is completely mixed before it starts to harden. Don't overspread it, otherwise it won't self-level. Don't pour more than one eighth thick of an application. Mix only as much as you can spread and pour at one time. And then use a heat gun blow, oh, that's the part you're gonna do. Use a blow dryer, small handheld propane torch or butane torch to remove the bubbles. Keep it six to eight inches above or you'll scorch it. You hear me? Don't scorch my glitter countertop. I'm nervous. Are you coming? Oh, it's not instant. You gotta spread it still. I'm nervous. You're not gonna help me spread it? There's portal on. Spread it. Some girl said that she was like a butter knife. But what does she mean? How does she get the spread with a butter knife? If I can't get it to spread with this thing. She's got that thing upside down too. Oh. I didn't tell you that. that hurt? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm getting even nervous. It's a countertop before you can worry about the side. Okay. <laughs> This is the finished product. It turned out really good and it wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I did end up putting glitter in it so in certain lights you can kind of see the little shimmer in it and we're really happy. Um, it's the same stuff that goes on bar tops and so far we haven't really had any problems aside from some staining from um, really dark like red colored items and for that I just put some goo gone on it and it soaks it right up. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you want to see more home stuff or Disney content be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye!